Hey, this is Christian from catcherandkeepher.co. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what type of wingman you want to choose when you're going to go out and approach women, pick up girls, or find someone to date. So I've got two friends, Joe and Danny. These are the types of friends that you want to be around when you're trying to pick up girls, when you're trying to get a girl's number too. Take a girl on a date, or you just want a solid support group. I listen to a lot of self-help videos, listening to a lot of audio tapes, and also reading a lot of books, like Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, stuff like that. A lot of brain food and real feel-good stuff. One of the things I learned is that you are only the average person of your five closest friends. So if you're hanging around with five jerks, chances are you're going to be a jerk yourself. You hang around with five guys that have their stuff together, people like those five guys, people who are genuine to be around and, and happy to be around you, those five guys, they'll probably want to be around you too and you'll surround yourself with good people. So make sure the wingmen and guys that you go out with to clubs and bars are guys that you hang around to be a solid support team. So here's an example. I was hanging out with a guy who was not the best influence. We took him out one night. He can be kind of a jerk sometimes. And I was hanging out with Danny. So we were going to meet up with this girl I was dating at the time. She was a real pretty blonde chick. We met her at a restaurant and she came to the table too. The guy who was a jerk sat down right next to her right away. He knew I was dating her and right away he put his arm around her. I knew what he was doing and I don't get easily offended. I don't get easily jealous or anything like that. It's not going to bother me. So she was sitting across from me and he put his arm around her. Then he started saying a lot of negative things about me and to me. So this girl just got her hair done. She asked my opinion about it. I said, I kind of liked it blonde. And the jerk said something like, that guy does not know what he's talking about. You look beautiful the way you are. He was saying a lot of things to build her up. A lot of things to break me down right in front of her. And those are the kind of guys you don't want to be around. Those are the kind of wingmen that you don't want to hang around and don't help you get high quality women. Then later on into the conversation, I was sitting on the right side of me was Danny and the girl kept smiling. I kept making smiles and laughing at her and things like that. I had said something to her like, why do you keep smiling so much? She loved it. She just ate it up. She smiled from ear to ear, and she was totally dismissing the other guy that was saying those things that we brought. And she was really liked what he had to say about me. It builds up my value in her eyes, and it made her like me a lot more. It's positive energy to be around. So those are the types of guys that you want to be around. Those are the types of guys you want to go out with. Those are the types of guys who you want to bring around when you date a woman. So that's what you need to do. Find some wingmen that have the same goals in mind for you. They want you to get the hot chick. It's not a competition when you're out with them. You are on the same team. When Danny and Guy, I go out to clubs, we actually have a pep talk on the way there. We say... Hey, you know what? Last week I saw you did this and your approach was a little strong. So you drank a little bit too much, Joe. You were sexually escalating a little too quickly. You were getting too touchy. I think this time you should come and approach like this. Next time you should wait a little longer before you ask for the phone number. It's just constructive criticism. We don't bash each other. If someone approaches a girl and she totally blows them out, we don't laugh at his expense. We just say, hey, you could have did this. I remember one of the worst rejections, and that's what we talked about in the last video. One of the, my first rejections was when Danny made me approach a girl at a bar. She was beautiful. I walked up to her. She put her hands on my shoulders. And keep in mind, I'm a 200-pound guy. This girl was like 110 pounds. She put her hands on my shoulders. 
she said to me, why don't you do me a favor and turn me around? She turned me around. She pushed me in the other direction. It was like the worst rejection I ever had. It was right in front of my best friend. So if I was to hang out with lesser quality friends, they would have probably died laughing at my expense. I already felt like shit. So my friend was there. He said, don't worry about it, bro. He gave a handshake to me and pulled me away. And then we want to talk to some other chicks. He made me feel good about bombing out with that chick. So those are the types of guys you need to be out out with. Those are the types of guys you should approach women with. Those are the types of guys you need in your life. Find some high quality wingmen and you will find some high quality women. So in this video, you learned how to find the right wingman. If you're considering getting a wingman, you need to watch out for guys that don't have an abundance mentality. You should realize that these guys don't understand that you should never put someone down in order to make yourself look good. It's being a jerk. Smart guys know that it's better to take one for the team sometimes and to move on to another woman. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to approach a girl. To learn more in depth on how to approach the right wingman, go to catchherandkeepher.co. I've written a book on this and you can get it at amazon.com. Click the link and go download that book. Like this video, comment and share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.